Holy s***. champions we are now at the Ankara airport or Esenbogen I believe it's uh, really quiet maybe because it's uh, two in the morning the airport is really nice and uh, from here we should first get to the city center I guess I first need liras okay the first step is to get liras and the best place to get it is actually at the ATM machines I think they have the best offers actually and exchange rate. Currently there is inflation in Turkey, so maybe you could benefit from that. So here are they. I don't know which is the best one, but uh, maybe I will choose this one. Probably not the best choice, but what can I do at 2 in the morning? Okay. So the best way to get to the city center is actually by taxi, but uh, it's kind of risky because you might pay a lot of money for that. So the second best option is actually using the bus, but that bus at this time is not so often. I guess they come every one hour. So let's see when, you, when is the next one. Okay, outside there is one bus. Let's see if this one drives to the center, hopefully. So this with the bus was a good choice. It's uh, going straight to the center and it takes around 45 minutes to get there. And it's quite cheap. So it's around, it's actually 12 Turkish Liras, which is at the moment for the exchange rate. Uh, it's less than one euro. So currently one euro is around 13.5 Liras, which is quite good actually for the tourists. <laughs> So one interesting thing uh, which I find, found out is that on the website of this uh, bus company is, which is called Havas Maybe you can see it here It's a little bit dark But actually there I found you can uh, download a Google, on a Google Play uh, app where you can see all the lines and all the connections which they have together with the prices which could be very useful if you're staying here and you want to travel around so we are at the main bus station it's really huge and now basically we have to find a way out okay some sort of control maybe it's good to know the name of this station it's called Asti so I don't know if it has a meaning or it's just the name so I'm here at one cafe, I ordered a cappuccino, looks nice. And now I would like to explain one interesting thing which is important if you are going to stay here more than a couple of days. And it's about phones, so mobile phones. Apparently you cannot use your phone longer than uh, two weeks or one month, I'm not sure about that, but you simply cannot use it on no longer terms so you have to buy some sort of a Turkish phone since I'm staying here 10 days I decided to buy a Turkish SIM card which should help me to get internet and the offers what I saw are good so they are not so expensive and the only thing is you have to buy at the official shop 
so where they sell SIM cards so from various operators like uh, this Turk Telecom or Vodafone or Turkcell and probably some others I have decided to buy this uh, Turkcell so this one um, it costed around uh, 200 liras but the price could vary and uh, here I got uh, like 20 gigabytes of internet which I actually need the most but in addition to that you have also like uh, unlimited calls and uh, like 200 messages or something like this and I think you should invest this money because uh, at least you will solve the issue with the roaming and then uh, for a small money you can get like a lot of internet so this is a sim card the standard one so like everywhere put it in your phone and just use it so yeah always buy at the official shop uh, you should avoid these uh, stores where they sell like uh, uh, phone gadgets because normally uh, when they see that you're a tourist it could turn out to be a ripoff so it, you could pay more than actually it costs so just keep that in mind so now I'm in Ankara metro and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, one useful thing that could save you some money if you are going to use the public transport so this is called Ankara card this is used for transport Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to record down where the cashiers are and the machines so I will have to stand here in front. Basically what I'm going to show you is actually this useful card. It's called Ankara card or Ankara card. It's used for public transport and basically with this card you can get a decent amount of uh, discount if you are traveling a lot. So let's say if you are using uh, public transport like buses, metro, more than four or five times here around Ankara, around Ankara uh, it makes sense to buy this card. It costs along, around uh, 11 liras and then you charge it. Uh, I charge it with 50 liras and I think it will be enough for uh, my stay here like for the next seven, eight days because I'm using uh, public transport, let's say at least two three times a day so i would definitely recommend to buy this ankara card basically you can buy it on a cashier uh, normally during the rush hour between uh, four and six uh, there is someone um, normally someone is there at that time outside these hours uh, i haven't seen anyone so i don't know if they have uh, like uh, special working hours or something like this so you buy this card at the cashier from a person there it's 11 liras then you charge it you can charge it using this uh, ankara card machine so basically you insert this card and then you charge it with like 10 uh, 20 50 liras and then you can use it i would definitely recommend it if you are going to use a public transport Another thing that you should definitely visit uh, during your stay in Ankara or in general in Turkey is actually a Turkish hammam. It's a, like some sort of a public bath. And normally there you have uh, saunas, pools and a special room where you can take a bath, so to say, or shower or also a massage uh, from a professional staff which will uh, basically bath you and shower you at <laughs> the same time actually it's uh, really relaxing it's really nice it's not that expensive typical uh, tariffs are let's say between 100 150 liras for the full treatment so all inclusive basically 
one of them in Ankara which I tried a few days ago is this Sultan Hamami which is basically close to the center but uh, there are many like I said here because it's something very uh, traditional and popular here so local people use it tourists use it so I would definitely recommend it to try it uh, one thing worth knowing is actually that uh, pools which you have there like swimming pools uh, normally they should be filled with cold water not with hot water as some people expect because in general after having a sauna you go to the cold pool cold water or cold shower not to the hot one because it has something to do with, sh with health and uh, you can learn more on internet about that and also great thing about this is uh, this massage which is really a uh, great one relaxes you it cleans your body because it, uh, they clean you simultaneously and it's worth trying so definitely try it okay now we are going to check the shops and the price in turkey this shop is also found in europe especially i think it's from switzerland so let's check what are the prices currently they told me to stop recording and yeah so I couldn't record anything but I have some receipts here and then we can maybe go through the items and see the prices so for example here a uh, pack of uh, snacks like nuts is like uh, 14 point nine liras so around one euro 
and then like uh, T this uh, black T package is 13.95 which is actually uh, below 1 euro like maybe 95 cent or something like that yeah uh, then pack of cigarettes is uh, 21 lira so it's really really cheap it's like uh, 1 euro 30 cent or less crazy yeah uh, I saw that bottle of milk is like uh, the cheapest one was like 8 lira and the more expensive ones were 10 11 liras so approximately 10 lira range uh, then I did some shopping also in a shop called gratis which is equivalent to DM or Rossmann and there yeah it's also cheap relatively cheap I mean and uh, like uh, this Dio spray was 27 liras so less than 2 euros um, some body cream was uh, that was the most expensive item 39 liras but I think anyway it's expensive so I mean also in other countries so it's okay and then uh, like um, yeah there was also toothpaste it's 30 liras so yeah when you are in Ankara one of the things that you should definitely visit is actually a barber shop. What they do here is really amazing. I mean, you can check on YouTube, there are many videos. And what they do is actually uh, pure art. Actually, that's the reason why my hair is so big and also my beard. And the reason of that is actually this guy here. So now we'll enter and see what they offer here. Merhaba beyler. Merhaba. So after the haircut and the massage, this is the outcome. Simply perfect. I definitely would recommend it. So one thing worth to know is actually whenever you visit a mosque, you have to take off your shoes and then later on put them back. And therefore I would simply recommend this little gadget. <laughs> it can really help you to put back your shoes on. Uh, another thing is that uh, it's common to have a toilet around the uh, mosques so if you are in a rush and you need a toilet maybe it's worth checking any local mosque it's normal in the corner so this one is actually for women and for the guys is actually on the other side 
and sometimes you have to pay the fee it's uh, around one lira so it's quite cheap Very good, very good. Best in Turkey. I just wanted to record tops in Antika Aber. And I think it's enough for today. The top of Ankara. So this huge mansion in the distance is actually Erdogan's palace. It's a newly built building, like uh, five, six years old. And uh, it's the place where basically president lives. So it's equivalent to White House or something like that. And it's really huge. In this complex, you also have a mosque. And uh, in the middle, maybe canteen, I don't know like canteen that can accept a few thousand people or something like that I'm just joking but he has a nice view okay here we see some food food le leftovers and this is not actually uncommon here in Ankara and the reason for this is actually the people they uh, they leave this food for animals, like cats and dogs, who are wandering around, so they could eat. I find it quite interesting, because you don't waste that much of food, 
on the other hand you feed maybe hungry animals but I, what I've noticed is actually that cats here are very fat so I don't think they are hang hungry so maybe in, in your next life if you're a cat maybe it would be a good idea to live here in Ankara because you will find food everywhere regarding tipping in restaurants or cafes this is generally accepted in Turkey normally after your meal or drink whatever they bring you some sort of, of uh, envelope where they put the receive so the amount which you are supposed to pay then uh, you put the money inside they take it and then take the money take it back to you with the ex exchange money like uh, if there is any exchange and then basically after that you can tip in general uh, 10 percent this is the typical fee typical tip you can give less you can give more or none but generally it's uh, appreciated like everywhere well almost ever i think in japan you can't tip but anyway i would recommend 10 percent so another tip for turkey or ankara since i'm here is actually to be polite and talkative because people do appreciate it here and actually you can only benefit from that even they don't speak english that much here uh, but you can use your hands legs google translator uh, i find google translator very useful here and people also know how to use it so it could help you a lot and in any case you can benefit for example in restaurants if you talk with the people there especially the service because you can always get like a free dish or a coffee or a tea basically since I'm here I already got almost in every restaurant like a free dish or something to drink so be polite Tamam. Sometimes, if you are lost or you have some problems or issues, it's worth checking if your country's embassy is located in Ankara. Then you can go there, maybe ask some questions, help or whatever. I don't have any questions, but I found embassy of Bosnia. It's actually here. Uvijek je lijepo poznati nekog novog, drugarica iz Rusije. No. Anđelika. Ime? Anđelika. Anđelika. I Anđelika ima jednu poruku za Bosnu i Hercegovinu. Uh. Hi. A, privet, privet, Bosnia. Uh, ja Anđela, živu u Rusiji, robotu u Turciji. Vsem veliko privet, mi vas ljubim. 
Спасибо.